You're going to tell me what you've got planned. Right, let's get started. Boo! Thank you, Abby. Very helpful. Now, as my not-so-glamorous assistant has demonstrated, this has been a contentious development so far. It's a disgrace. Yes, well, you are entitled to your opinion, but let me just run a few numbers past you all. Zero. That's the number for you, because that's the chance that you got of me still in the factory. Again, that's your prerogative, but... Hang on, hang on. Your little, uh, model that you've got here, well, half that stood on my property. So if I don't sell, you don't build. That's correct. However, the model in front of you is plan A. I have here a blueprint for the amended version of the development. Plan B. Amended in, in, in what way? OK. So, the factory, for example, wouldn't be affected. In fact, the development would only come as far as number 8, Coronation Street. So the cabin and the garage would also remain. But my house still goes, though. Maybe we should take a short break. Hate to be blunt, but um, it's not your house anymore. We don't care. We don't want a high-rise on our street. Excuse me. Well, I hope you change your mind. I should point out, though, that with this new proposal, we already own all the property we need to proceed. So once we get the green light, we can begin demolition. Can I have a word? Sarah, I'm busy. What do you want? Right, I'll be there in two minutes. Well, that's me stuffed, isn't it? Yeah, I'm Kevin. Kevin? How'd you work that out? He's still got his house. Well, maybe, but he still had to sell the garage and the furniture shop. Yeah, right. He'd have come to some deal with his sister behind everyone's back. You don't know what you're talking about, you scrawny little toe rag. Please, we're reduced to arguing amongst ourselves and the battle's over before it's begun. Anyway, you were happy enough to take the money for your house. Well, yes, because of the underground grotto feature that it's got, thanks to all he's doing. Where do you think you're going? To try and smooth things over. Oh, no, you don't. You've got some explaining to do. I don't do plan Bs. Even if it is a reduced number of properties, I still have a list of planning and legal objections. Come on, Roy, we're fine a losing battle here. Yeah, I mean, pounds to a penny. Ray's going to have half the council in his back pocket. I mean, these developer types, they always have, aren't they? It's a somewhat sweeping statement. Well, I'm in a sweeping statement kind of mood, Roy. Look, it's not over yet. Well, you'll be made up, won't you? Little factory surf and so on. Well, he's never going to get it anyway. Burn the place down myself before he gets his hands on it. That effectively will be playing right into his hands, surely. He wants to bulldoze the property himself. No, it's just a figure of speech for him. On your side is what I'm saying. Go, Windows. I didn't have time to fill you in. This project requires all the properties. You know that. Hey, if I was you, I'd get back to selling your cappuccinos at the bistro. Because I'm telling you, you ain't getting that factory for any price. I know it won't be the same, but this way we can keep the residents on site and still make a profit. We can reapply for planning permission. No, we haven't got time. The planning application's already cost me a fortune. I'm not spending that all over again. Yes, there will be some extra fees, but... Just shut up, will you? And from now on, I make all the decisions. Right, 